Hi, I'm Lyndon Breen, and I'm a centerman for the UMAN hockey team. I don't think there's more than we can do. How come you think that I still owe you anything? My dad played hockey, and uh, you know he's he was always getting off work early as a mailman, so he'd he'd get off, get me home from school, and uh, you know just take me to the local rink near the house. Um, luckily enough, we knew the we knew the rink guy pretty well, and you know I could get out for free quite often, uh, public skate and whatnot. Uh, but no, my dad was always was always the guy to not push me, but just make me have fun, you know, and really make me love the game. It wasn't until I was probably about you know eight or nine until I really got competitive with it, I guess, with you know one of my coaches, a coach for a long time, Nandy Bezo. You know, he was really successful as as a coach and you know kind of got me into the into the states as well when I played tournaments when I was younger down in Massachusetts and coming down here really kind of exposed me to to different opportunity and you know, my dad's definitely definitely my one influence that kind of got me going in hockey for sure obviously my ultimate goal is to, to make it to the NHL one day and uh, you know I'm kind of gonna give it all I got to to make it there uh, I've put in so many years so far in in my career, but you know, there's a lot left that that I want to be successful with, and um, you know, I just got a, a lot more to grow. But uh, you know, just a lot of work and a lot of work ahead that I'm willing to to do to to make it to where I want to be. Lyndon Breen picks it up, two on one for me, shorthanded Breen, holding shot, score! Lyndon Breen shorthanded. He wanted that two goal lead back a minute ago. Gets it here. Black there's Breen again. Goal on shot. like maybe a little bit of a slew foot. Inadvertently, a chance for Maine! Throw it on goal and they score! Lyndon Breen as Poisson moved it to the middle. You know, it's different. This year is completely different from my last two years here. It's, you know, the last two years it was, if we play those games, you know, it's, we probably weren't expecting to really come out with the win, but this year's just a little more extra frustrating because, you know, we know we're, we're right there. We're close. I think a lot of the fan base sees that as well. Uh, you know, we aren't coming out with with the results we want so far this year. You know, a lot of us aren't satisfied. We know our record should be better than it is, especially in such a short season with 34, 35 games. You know, every game's kind of crucial. Uh, so to give away a couple so far this year has been tough. But um, you know, we just got to keep working, and you know, we'll get what we'll learn soon. You know, there's nothing better for us than coming out on a Friday, Saturday night and, and you know, having support from them in a full student section or, you know, a full crowd of, you know, non-students, families, everyone in Bangor that, that really support us. You now that really shows us, you know, we have a we have a big job to take care of and and that, you know, we're we're here to make them proud as well and, and get main hockey to back to how it used to be. We're really close and you know that's something we're gonna keep working towards. It's your journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Tucson. Lease an all-wheel drive Hyundai Tucson for $239 a month or get up to 1000 bonus cash. See your Bangor Hyundai dealer. At St. Joseph Primary Care, what matters most to you and your family matters to us. That means the care we provide is centered around you and designed to meet all of your health care needs. We offer same-day care to members of our primary care practices and the ability to exchange messages with your provider and check results via MyChart. It's more important now than ever before to have a health care team you can rely on. If you are in need of a primary care provider, we're accepting new members now. With locations in Bangor, Brewer, and Hamden, you're sure to find the care that matters most to you when you need it, where you need it.
Achieving greatness requires setting clear goals and maintaining the proper work necessary to see them through. Success does not happen overnight. It is about a renewed sense of vision, a vision of what you want to be. Game changers see a window of opportunity and seize it. Change requires strength. That's why we've partnered with Renewal by Anderson. Renewal by Anderson offers a product you can trust, unparalleled service, and the team will be with you from the beginning of the project to installation and beyond. If you're looking for a renewed sense of vision, go with Renewal by Anderson of Greater Maine, the official replacement window and door company of the Black Bears. Is this the new phone? Yeah. With US Cellular, I got to pick any phone that I wanted for free. And I was already a customer. Any brand? With any size? Mm -hmm. I got exactly what I wanted. Big screen, big storage. I cannot remember the last time I had so many different options. At US Cellular, new and current customers can get any phone from any brand free. Are you actually texting them? I don't know. I just Are like you? thought I would just. US Cellular, where every plan is price protected. Moving some stuff to get elections day going and uh, to set up some good place for people to vote. This community does so much for us. They give us such great support and it's just something small we can do to give back to this community and you know, we're having fun, we're laughing, so it's just it's a good time for us too, but we're also doing a good thing. as a team to come out and do this stuff because it builds team chemistry off of the ice, but it's also great for the community to come out and see us. Uh, it's great for them to see us helping out in the community. That's what we want. Uh, we care about all the people here in this town on the campus. Uh, they come out and support us, so the least we can do is come out and support them and, and help set up uh, help set up polling booths, help come vote tomorrow. So it's uh, it's exciting. Uh, we're having a great time with it. We always uh, we always make uh, make it as fun as possible, so we're enjoying it. very important for us to uh, help to the community and help people around just because we want to give back sometimes you know we appreciate the fans coming to the games and I think it's very important that we give back time to time and uh, help them set up things that might, take, but might need some power and help and strength that we can provide. in ECAC hockey in the number three ranked team in the country, the Quinnipiac University Bobcats. Black Bears one and two coming into this one and certainly a tough opponent here to start. Yeah, I mean, uh, you play these non-league games early in the season and uh, sometimes they're easier and sometimes they're more difficult. Tonight falls into the difficult category. Quinnipiac is a really tough team. This would be a big test for me. takes the opening face-off against Friedman, and we're underway. Saved by Austin. Back to 
Shot by Holt is stopped by Perez. Rebound, another take. Perez, the third one's in. First shift, it's like, oh, they're not, you know, they're not just happy with the one. That's what has to happen tomorrow. Okay, it's been a while since this program's won two games in a row. It's been a while. Game puck tonight. We've been looking for this for a while and stepped up and gave us a chance to win. And held us in the lottery. Yeah. Boys, uh, job's not finished, so uh, we've got a big one tomorrow. Hell yeah! It's a hell of an effort by everyone, but fuck, like, V Man led us the whole way. Yeah. Oh, you were mad. Oh, hey! hey. Let's get one tomorrow, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Screen right there. Man, so just go, rip it. Right there, turn, no pass, straight rip. Oh, when he rolls up top? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, five on three, let's go. Let's kill this. Don't put that snow on myself. Huh? Don't put all that snow on myself, bro. I'm trying to get it out of there. How being mined up, mic'd up, do you find yourself like not saying much? It's a great like, experience. Like, like catching yourself, like wanting to say something and then you gotta stop. Yeah. That'd be me if I was mic'd up, man. I'd be like, yeah, I've me. been good, I think. I haven't been swearing that much. Goody, goody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, practice over. Let's go. See ya. What a rip. Is that your new tape job? It's not bad. I kind of like it. Stylish. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do, bro. P.O.P. T.O.P. P.O.P. Yeah. P -O -P, yeah. Hey, unselfish. Yeah. He's about to blow that whistle. I ain't going there. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Everyone's just waiting for the whistle, bro. Everyone's in the zone there. Oh, wait, man. Just focus. Keep working hard like you are. Holy, don't breathe on me. You're breathless, bro. <laughs> no one's on the other ice. Half of the ice, bro. Oh. <laughs> hey! You guys are clowns, man. <laughs> Since skills, I've been crushing push-ups, man. Don't 
Unreal. All right, lower! <laughs> Right there. Right? Never gonna question you guys is that effort and attitude. Okay? Um, Another big day tomorrow, another work day tomorrow, and then we're on the road Thursday morning, okay? Uh, I thought he had his best practice since he's been here today, even though he's in an orange. Uh, he had almost a really good practice, and then he had a horrible two-on-one pass here at the end there for Nick. Yeah, well done, baby. Gives it off to Norquist, down low Lombardi. 10 seconds on the power play and they score! It's Desi Burgart who's able to lift it over the pad of Osman. And just five minutes in, Quinnipiac, who didn't score last night, is on the board first. Well, unfortunately, Victor Osman thinks this puck is going around the other side. You see him turn there. And then, unfortunately for Maine, uh, Burgart is able to walk right out in front. Top of the right circle. We saw the whole Rister tip score! Holt got it through, it hit a stick on the way, and we're tied at one. I think this is Holt's goal because I think it hit the stick of a Quinnipiac defender. We're going to get another look at it. Poisson slides it across. Did Renwick get a piece of this? We're going to get a look at it from a different angle. I think the defender in the, uh, in the high slot area, that's uh, number five. That's Hansen with a Piak looking to split everybody as it's Brindamore, score! Skyler Brindamore with a rip on Ostman and beats him. 42 seconds into the second, Quinnipiac is back in front. By Tellier, he tried to take the shot, tipped in front, they score, and it's Victor Chernetsky in there getting his first goal in as a collegiate player. Tied up Friedman, good play there, in stride, the shot, the score, coming from Jacob Quillen. And now the Bobcats are turning it on, they're up four to one. Hanson gets it across, Friel take it away, rebound, score! Cole Hanson there to clean up the rebound, it's a shorthanded goal, Maine is down 5-2. Well, look as uh, Hansen gets the puck right over to Friel. Friel stopped on the short, on the backhander, but the rebound that we talked about, that's what you've got to have is each rebound. This is where it creates opportunity. Hansen, good job to get, follow up and get into that area where the puck comes back out, and he's able to just snap this right up over Perez to make this a 5 2 hockey game. Up in the Quinnipiac zone. Bobcats control, and out with it is Philly on. Stop Billion leaves for Jaden Lee and he scores! Jaden Lee joining the rush and gets rewarded for it. Quinnipiac is on top by four again at six to two. Jaden Garden sends ahead to Graf. Three on two, maybe here for Bobcats. As it's McGee dropping off for like Gold back across score! Colin Graf finishes that odd man rush off. And the Bobcats are up by four. Leon, Christophe Billion leaves for Jaden Lee, and he scores! Jaden Lee joining the rush and gets rewarded for it. Quinnipiac is on top by four again at six to two. Jaden Lee, a defenseman, jumps up into the play, gets a nice shovel pass onto the right wing side, steps to his right, and just wires this puck. I think short side.